EKU football was in Charleston, South Carolina yesterday as Walt Wells and company were taking on the Citadel Bulldogs in the first ever meeting between the two teams. Eastern's first possession of the game, Parker McKinney in the shotgun fakes the handoff and takes it himself. He slips one tackle and delivers a stiff arm before being forced out of bounds. And that little extra shove by Matt gave Eastern Kentucky another 15 yards and put them on the plus side of the field. Second and three from the 33, McKinney hands it off to Alonzo Booth, and he carries the rock and a couple of Bulldogs for an 18-yard gain, putting EKU in the red zone. One back, no tight ends, balance formation. Now Jones pops into the backfield. Jacquez Jones' slot. McKinney to throw on first down. Throws it to the corner. It's caught for a Colonel touchdown. Colonel's on the board first. Next EKU possession, trailing by one, opening play of the drive. McKinney slings it out to Keon Dixon in the flat, and he makes one guy miss, then another before he gets brought down after picking up 13 yards. Second and two from the Citadel 44, and Booth is going to move the sticks as he chews up eight yards. Two plays later, and McKinney airs it out to Jackson Beerman, who comes down with it for a 28-yard gain, putting Eastern at the lip of the cup. McKinney to throw one first down. He got a man wide open at the goal line. Caught by Jones. He's got a two touchdown day going. Touchdown, Ja Quez Jones. That makes it 13 7 Colonels. Second quarter, Citadel looking to cross midfield. Instead, they put it on the carpet, and Shane Burks is there to vacuum it up. Then the offense would reward the defense with the quickness. And McKinney back to the air on first down. Flush from the pocket, sets his feet, throws. Dixon has to wait. He high points the ball. He caught it at the five. Turned and went to the end zone. Highlight play. A highlight catch by the UConn transfer. EKU up a Baker's dozen and would take a nine-point lead into the break. Colonels get the ball first in the third frame. Second and 11 when McKinney hits Matt Wilcox for a 16-yard catch and run for a fresh set of downs. But McKinney would only need one more. Play action, McKinney dancing away, throwing, man open down the near sidelines, Jones spun around from a defender at the 20 to the 10 to the 5, straight up, tight ropes, the sideline, and gets to the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. Eastern leads 30 to 14. Closing stanza, less than seven minutes to play, the Citadel trying to rally. Rainey drops back and lets it go, but Dawson Fitzpatrick is there for the interception, and he's off to the races. The junior returns it 31 yards to the Bulldogs' four-yard line, setting the stage for the offense. Colonels looking to put icing on the cake by 16 at the four-yard line of the Bulldogs. McKinney with Booth in the backfield. There goes Alonzo. Give him six, and the Colonels lead it 36 to 14. And Coach Wells gets wet as Eastern Kentucky goes on to win 37-14. Parker McKinney goes 16 for 26 for 274 yards, tossing four touchdowns, three of them to Jaquez and Zone Jones. Alonzo Booth carried the ball 18 times for 91 yards and a score, and Keon Dixon hauled in five passes for 81 yards and a touchdown. Here's Coach Wells after the game. Well, you know, it was great to see our team come out and play with an energy and a passion and some pride and play assignment football for the most part. You know, I thought our defense was clued into what they were doing. I think our defensive staff did a phenomenal job. I think our defensive players did a great job and came out. And, you know, to get the first stop was huge, to give them some confidence and some, some energy. And then for our offense to go straight down the field, and I thought they had, I thought our offensive coaches had a great plan, and our offensive players did a great job and go down the field and score. I thought it was just a, good to see that play out most consistently throughout the whole day. Up next for EKU is their home opener against Houston Baptist next Saturday at Roy Kidd Stadium. Kickoff is scheduled for 3 p.m. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.